So welcome to this reporting session and um, let me get you up. So this is my Symbidium Enzifolium and um, there's a tag. If you can actually see something. Hold on a second, I'll put you down. So, Symbidium Enzifolium and Huang Shai, I think it's pronounced, not sure. And if you do know how to pronounce it, please let me know because it's, it would be nice to actually learn to pronounce these correct way. But yeah, it's a nice Symbidium Chinese type and it's a species. And I bought it in, in our orchid show from Karge. 2019 i think it was november and it's been in this pot ever since and um, it hasn't bloomed because i didn't think of putting it into the co cooler space for the winter but that's going to be next year so let's see the putting media because i think it would be a good idea at least to take a look Hold on a second, I'll put it lower. There. Now you can see something. Not seeing that huge root growth. It has some tips, so which is good. And let me get you closer. I think there is a new root coming there. If I can get it brighter. Okay, now you can see. And I think it's growing some new roots there and this is the new, newest suitable. I thought it was a spike, but it wasn't. So I'll do the clean up. And there's something new growing as well next to that, that little one. So I'll go and get the stuff to do the clean up and I'll be back in just a second. Uh, so these symbidiums, uh, I gotta say that, or have to say, that the interest in these is purely because they are so uh, delicate. So they are different from uh, normal symbidiums and yeah, I feel like I would like to have more, but I still need to study this longer because it would be nice to actually get them to bloom. To me, uh, how to describe the scent of this, it's it's similar to Ch uh, Chanel number no. 5, if you do know that old scent uh, my mother used to use that back in the days and it's just really awesome i'm just really in love with it on the flowers even though they are just brown uh, basically brown and, and stripy they still have some have some some special special part of it and when you're taking off those uh, seeds um, or the ends of the leaves which are dried off just be careful because there is like these new nubbins usually coming in so thread carefully i would say there used to be a bulb here but it just took all the energy off from it and that's why it's so funny from here
So the flower spike used to be there. So the funny part is, it looks like there is something growing in there, underneath there. It's It's got eyes, so this is the older pseudopop. So this I think I grew to that 2020, and this is last winter, and the pseudopop seems to be small. So let me clean this off, I rinse it, and I'll be back with a new pot. Just a second. So uh, it's consisting of the media, new media, seedling grade bark, a bit bigger bark. I think it's above, how would I say? Don't remember the name of it, but this size, the general, which you usually use for, for example, phalaenopsis. And then there is a uh, perlite, quite a lot. And then this really fine thing is um, cocoa uh, coir to give it a more wet environment. And let me get you higher. Just so. so as you can see, I'm going to use a little bit bitter a bit a smaller pot i think it was a bit too big pot i which i used before but that was just because i didn't have anything else this i just ordered for this one from ralke this spring so it just came to me Now that I'm ready with it, I'm going to take it to the shower, give it a rinse, and of course rinse off these between these leaves so that it won't be won't be full of media. But yeah, I'm hoping this would work much better. And of course I'm going to keep it a little bit longer outside. Maybe when it goes down during the evenings down to under 15 degrees and then I'm going to move it into the cooler growing space just to get it get it into the blooming mode and I'm hoping that this is much earthier so called earth closer to dirt this media so it's going to be happier and of course the pot is smaller so that it's not going to have that much room for the roots which cymbidiums don't seems to well they they do like it they grow the roots um th through them like all around the pot but as i have understood they won't uh, bloom unless you have a smaller pot but yeah hmm. Let's see this in the fall time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.